my ladies. It's time to frame my face. So I have my whole face on, everything is set and ready to go. And now I am going to do what I call framing my face. So see these eyebrows, some sparsing, I need to fill them in. Um, my threading lady is amazing, but she kind of went a little thin on one of them. We have the line brush. It has this beautiful, dense 45 degree angle end, and then it has a spoolie end. So I am just going to comb my brows out. They are woolly caterpillars. Otherwise, I have my eyebrow kit two colors and any eyebrow kit that you're going to see anywhere there are two different colors a darker and a lighter and what I'm going to do is start with the darker so these are actually just two eyeshadows that I already had in my collection that I can use pretty much as contour colors and that 45 degree angle and I just tap it in I flip her upside down meaning that that pointed end is going to be facing my eyebrow and then I just use hair like strokes in the center of my eye Okay, now why this instead of a pencil? So a pencil is going to create some pressure on these hair follicles to get the shade that you want. And the pencil will actually hurt the root of your eyebrow. So what I'm trying to do is fill in the sparsing from eyebrow hairs that are not growing in as fast as I would like. So what that means is the pencil is actually um, causing the root to be damaged inhibiting the hair to actually grow the way that you would like. So this brush is actually dense enough to hold the hair-like structure or the hair-like strokes. However, it is soft enough that it is not going to damage the root. So I'm just filling in this uh I would call it the bushier side of my brow and with the darker color. And then I'm gonna come into Oak. This is Trust, this is Oak. This is something that I can color match you to as well. It's actually um, quite interesting and I'm just going to come down. Now, how do I know where to do all of this? Where do all of what, Rhea? That's what you're asking right now. How do I know how far to come in and where my art should be? So if you take a pencil or a brush and line up with your nose, that's how far your eyebrows should come in. And that is helping create the frame of your eyes and everything that already is existing and in place. Now, where do your arches go? Not everyone is gonna have this high arch. My sisters have straight across eyebrows. They don't have these high arches. So if I take the pencil here, that's how far I come in, and then I move it through my iris, through my pupil, making a V, that's where the peak of my eyebrow is going to be. So I'm gonna take that darker color and bring it out to the peak, and then I'm gonna take the lighter color oak and kind of come in before the peak and down. Call them little Nike swoops. And now I actually have fuller brows. So I actually, after brushing, my eyebrows out, wet this spoolie brush. And what I'm gonna do, this is brow wax. Take that little wet end and swirl it around. I have a little bit of wax on here and I'm just going to brush it through my brows. Now, all of my bushy brows, hairs that wanna be crazy, are gonna stay in place for the rest of the day. All you have to do is rinse that off, rinse that wax off. You can use your eyeshadow tile to just lightly clean your brush. And that is how you begin the frame. Now we're gonna contour my lips. This is gonna complete the frame of my lips and give me this pouty look. I am obsessed with this uh, process. I absolutely love doing this without uh, using any type of filler for my lips, artificial filler. As you can see, the multitasker brush is very well loved by myself. 
And here are, is my lip kit. So when my contour for my face is running low and I can't melt it down anymore, I'm gonna use it for my lip contour. So I take this pencil end and grab some contour. Now when we contoured our cheeks and our chin and our forehead and our face, we were creating shadows to accentuate certain areas. It was actually sucking in my cheeks. Now I want my lips to come out at you. So I'm just going to use it just as if I was using a lip liner pen um, or pencil, but instead of using a color that's gonna match my lip color that I'm using, my lipstick, I'm using the contour. Now, this particular contour I'm using is the same contour that I used on my cheeks. If I'm going out on like a date or to a formal event, or I want something more dramatic looking, see how natural this color looks? It's because it's the color already on my face. If I want something a little more dramatic, I'm gonna go darker. Okay, see how I just lined and I came down my cupid's bow? Perfect, right? That's all we needed to do to contour our lips. My lips already look bigger. So then I'm just gonna go into my lip and cheek that I used. I actually love using two different colors. So I'm going to use Plum, which is this beautiful purple color. Put her on my bottom lip and just pull her down. And start in the middle and pull her down. Okay, then I'm gonna come into Dahlia. Love her. So I'm gonna mix them. And because this petal brush has an angle, she fits into my Cupid's bow perfectly. Mix them together. Perfect. I'm using Angel Illuminator today, which is a cream color. It is pink. And I'm just gonna take her, now watch this. Now your eye is drawn to my lips that are coming out at you. They're pulled in and they look filled. That is as easy as it is, as easy as it is to frame your face. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions, put a hashtag replay below. Let me know what your questions are. I'd be happy to color match you with just a lip kit as well. These brow kits are very simple to put together. We have these little quads on the clearance rack, two eyeshadows, a brow wax, and one brush, and your brows will be taken care of. Your already existing contour for your lip and cheek, and then you're already putting your lip, your lip and cheek on. You already have that and your illuminator, and you'll be good to go. Thanks, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the flip side.